What is up, Gateway Dudes? It is KJ, and today we are going to be making a rectangular prism out of two cubes that we already made. So, uh, this is the first time we're using the assembly function. So there's two ways you can get to it, same with the part tool. You can just click this right here, or you go to new, um, and then it look like this to start with. Just the drop down on assembly, click standard IAM, and then create. And once it's done loading, we can actually start. Come on. Okay. So, uh, some basic things you need to know about the assembly tool. It's basically a place where you can put multiple part files in and kind of arrange them using constraints. So uh, over here is the place function, and if you look at the drop down, you'll notice there's a lot of different options. Uh, we're only going to be using the standard place tool, so you can either click that or click P. And I'm going to look for the cube. It's a one by one by one cube that we started out with. I think it was the first part we made. I'll go ahead and click open, and don't place it just yet. You place with left click. But and when we're starting to build um, in an assembly file, what we want to do is we want to ground this at the origin. So I want you to right click and click place grounded at origin. And that will place this cube at 0, 0, 0 um, in this file. So it won't move because it's grounded there, but everything else will move and kind of attach to it. So it's like if you put a flat plate down and you're going to build a Lego house on it, you're not going to move the flat plate around it. You want the flat plate to stay in the same spot the whole time. So then uh, we're just going to click again so another one is made. Right click and then say OK. So now we have these two cubes. One can move, one can't. And so in order to attach them, we're going to be using the constrain function. So. Uh, there's a couple menus here. There are five basic tools, and then there's two kind of options for most of them. Oh, and offset, if you want to like distance these constraints. So we're going to be using mate and mate to start with. So what this does is it'll take a face of an object, and it'll take that object and put it uh, in the opposite, well, facing the same face of a different object. So if we click here and here, they'll face each other. So we want to apply that, and if you'll notice, we get out of this, he can still move around, but he's always going to be directly, like, in the same way of that. I didn't say that correctly, but you get the, oh my goodness. <laughs> you get the idea. These will always be on, like, the same plane. So we're going to further constrain this guy using the flush tool. So we're going to say they're both... The tops of them must be flush. <coughs> so I'll click one and click the other. You notice they'll be flush. And then we'll apply that and do the same thing on the sides. Apply. And there you go. There's our basic rectangular prism. And if you notice this little uh, like cross section, not cross section, but this little line here, that doesn't actually mean anything. It's just trying to tell the a uh, person who has this file that these are two separate cubes and they could be separated if you delete constraints. So that's